In prime time news this evening, no moral authority to lead. Integrity Commission calls for action against NWC President Dr. Mark Barnett over apartment construction saga. Third victim dies in Sam Sharp Square shooting. And the court given more dramatic and grisly details in murder case of Portland businessman. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News and a special welcome to our viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands as well as those watching on OneSpotMedia.com. I'm Archibald Gordon. And I'm Janella Precious with a preview of what's to come in business news. Here's Javon Keys. Well, Janella, good news for motorists this week. Gas prices are going to be going down effective tomorrow, so no need to rush to the gas station. After primetime news, I'll give the details of those declines and some more news of expansion for a major petroleum company in the local market. Thank you, Keys. And Jermaine Brown has a preview of what's coming up in primetime sports. Well, thank you, Archie. I'll tell you what, what's also going down. The reggae boys are in Grenada where... They are preparing for the CONCACAF Nations League. It will tell you about what's going on there in Grenada and lots more. Exciting stuff. And Romain is also here with a preview of the weather report and forecast. Thanks so much, Janela. Now, over the next few days, we are expecting isolated shower activity mainly across western parishes, but we still have a drying trend. We're still maintaining sunny and windy conditions across most of the east and most of the central parishes. There is also sports commentary and E-Prime in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. This evening, we're asking, do you believe the increase in bus and taxi fares is justified? Give reasons for your answer. That should be a hot one. Share your comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and tweet at TVJ News Center. Stay with us. Primetime News returns after this break. 